Hello everybody, we're going to be talking about time and attendance today for paychecks. Go ahead and log in to myapps.paychecks.com and you should be able to only enter your username here. Go ahead and click next. Then on this next screen we're going to do our password and we're going to click next. And we're in. Here are a few things to keep in mind. Right here is where you actually have your check stubs. Your time off will show up here and your W-2, once you have one, will be right here. But first, let's go to time and attendance. Once you're in time and attendance, there's a couple options for you. You have actions, which is where you put your timesheet in, and time card, which is where you approve your timesheet once you're done for the week. Let's go into actions. A couple of things here. First, if you take a look, right here on the left, you have a drop-down menu for work, then you have your in time and your out time. Also, right here is where you could see the current week. Submit means save, and submit and close, of course, means save and close. Right here, you also have a quick little handy notepad where it tells you what your hours are. Let's take a look at this drop-down. As you can see here, you have menus for meal, bereavement, jury duty, all that type of stuff. So let's try to do one here. I will came in at 8 a.m. today and I'm gonna leave at 5 p.m. So let's just put that there. As you can see here, now my hours are nine. I'm gonna go ahead and click here for another drop-down. Select meal now, as you can see here. And then let's say that I had it for 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. As you can see here, the hours don't quite match. It says 10 hours for some reason, but that's because we haven't clicked Submit yet. So once we click Submit, you could see that the hours go now for eight hours of work and one hour of meal for a total of nine hours. Also, it gives you all of your breakdowns right here as far as punch in, punch out, lunches, and punch in, punch out again. Plus it gives you an extra row in case you have to clock in again. Let's go ahead and do some other ones. All right. So now that we're done here, if you click Submit, your changes will be saved. And as you can see, you have 40 hours plus five hours of lunches for a total of 40 at five. So you can submit and close. And then at the end of the week, we'll go to the time card. On time card, you can actually see all of your punches here to make sure that all of your hours are accurate. Make sure that your time card right here looks right. And then if everything's good, you could just go scroll down here and you can hit approve all. That means your time card is approved and then you could just click save. And that is pretty much all there is to the timesheet. Now, you could actually click right here to take a look at the individual punches. And if you need to, you could click right here and you could go back into your actions menu to click, well, to, to keep editing. And that is pretty much it. Hopefully you found this sort of helpful, very helpful, I hope. And if you have any questions, don't forget to just contact us and we can help you out.